CW agents, this is Deanna Guerrero, and I'm here with Darrington with Make Darrington Macon with Macon Foods. <laughs> and we are gonna show you how to meal prep. And the reason that we're doing this is because I'm on ALC Wellness Committee and I struggle with eating healthy and eating eating, I guess. <laughs> um, so just like you, you probably get up super early. I get up at 4.30, I go work out, and then I'm on the run all day. And sometimes I either don't eat or I eat the wrong food. And so the solution, because we all wanna be healthy, we wanna fuel our bodies and stay healthy to keep going on the run, um, is to food prep. But if you're like me and you just don't have the patience or the desire to do it, then you come to Barrington with Making Foods and he will meal prep for you based on your lifestyle and your, your desires. So I'm gonna turn it over to Macon, uh, Macon Foods, Barrington, and um, he's, gonna, he's gonna walk us through the steps so that you'll know how you can do it on your own and then at the end, he will will give you his information in case you just want to reach out to um, Farrington to order your own meals. Okay, on to you. So my name is Farrington Macon. I am the cook for Making Food. And today we're going to be working on two different recipes. We're going to do a steak potato and snack peas and a sesame seed chicken with jasmine rice and green beans. And part of what I do is meal prep for you so you are able to function throughout the day and be able to eat on the go. And then we're going to pre prepare healthy meal prep. All right, so our first one, we're gonna start cutting some bell peppers. This is a yellow bell pepper. So we're just gonna take half of this, get the seeds out. All right, now that we have that, we're gonna start cutting our bell pepper just to make sure we got some extra flavor. Now we have that, and last we're gonna do our onion. That's enough onion for this. Now we're gonna start by sauteing these in a pan. All right, first we're gonna start off with some olive oil, just a little bit, just to coat our pan. Okay. We're gonna throw some of these onions and bell peppers in. Add a little bit of salt, just for flavor. While all this is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and start our chicken. Okay. After we cut this chicken breast, we're gonna put this cutting board back in the sink so we don't have cross-contamination. So that's that. And while we're waiting on our chicken to cook, we're gonna go ahead and start on our rice. Typically, with rice, the instructions come on the back. So for this, we're gonna use one cup of rice and a cup and a half of water. So now we're going to start with some more olive oil, just a little bit to coat our pan. We're going to throw our green beans right in. that we use for this. Also, you want to make sure you have a pan that can go in the oven because that is one way you don't overcook your food. So we can cut back on our calories. We're gonna use a non-stick spray just so we have a little bit of oil in our pan. Get that a little off. All right, so this is the finished product. This is our grilled sesame seed chicken with jasmine rice and oven baked green beans. You can find this. This is a sesame seed chicken sauce. It's in the international aisle at HEB. Only one, for one tablespoon, it's only 25 calories, which is really good. So we get all the flavor with minimal calories, and this is it. 